for you, Sydney. Yeah, you're gonna love this one. It's a scream, baby. Hold on a sec. What's going on, moviegoers? If you're new to the channel, my name's Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. Nev Campbell is officially coming back for Scream 5. Yes, you guys. She was in early stages. She was in talks, but nothing was official. David Arquette signed. Uh, Courtney Cox, she, she, she's coming back. But it was all up to Nev Campbell. Was she going to come back for Scream 5? And it is official, you guys. She is joining the cast, and I am that much more excited about Scream 5. Please let this movie be great. Please let the story be unique, but also fresh. Please, like, add on to it. You get what I'm saying? Like, after Scream 4, you can only go up from here. That's my mentality for Scream 5. It, it really is my mentality. But I'm really excited that we're getting the Holy Trinity back for Scream 5. But I have a good fucking feeling. Not all three of them are going to make it out. No, no way. I'm sorry. That's the harsh reality of it. Not all three of them are going to make it out. I think, you know, oh my God. I honestly, I think Gail Weathers is going to die. Mmm, that's going to suck. Oh man, like I said, you guys, it's going to be a roller coaster ride. I mean, there's going to be a lot of deaths in this movie. We also got some new additions to the cast as well. I was like, wow, they really, they're going all out right now. They added um, Dylan, Dylan Minnett. And Mason Gooding. So the cast so far is looking pretty promising, if you ask me. And that, that was a worry for me. Casting is everything. And I feel like for this Scream franchise, they've casted pretty damn good so far. And, you know, for the casting of Scream 5, it's looking very promising. I'm just a little worried about the story. Where do you go? Is Stu dead? Don't know. He even, the, the actor, oh my God, I'm frank, totally drawing a blank on his name. Uh, I have to look this up. I'm, I'm tired of drawing blank, blanks on these actors' names. I'm telling you, man. I'm, as you get older, you start losing, start losing your mind a bit. And now that I'm a father, legit, like my mind is going crazy. But you know, being a father is one of the most beautiful things. I tell you guys, I absolutely love and I adore it. It's so much fun. Just me and my son hanging out on my days off. When I come home from work, it's just so much fun. You know what I mean? Um, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Matthew Leonard. Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. He came out and said that he doesn't believe that Stu's dead. So what if he's not dead? What if they go that route? What if they legit go the route of Stu is actually the killer for Scream 5? You know what I'm saying? Or like his, his fucking, I don't know, did he have a sister? No, he didn't have a sister. His parents were out of town. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe he did have a sister. Let's say maybe he did have a sister. This takes place 30 years later. You get what I'm saying? And she had, you know, some kids. Maybe his nephews are the killer. No idea where they can take the story. So like I said, I'm so intrigued by the idea of Scream 5. I'm just really happy that the casting is there. The casting is legit. I feel, I feel like the casting has a lot of potential. And, you know, who knows who's going to be the killer. But I feel like with the recent two castings of those two dudes, they casted the Billy and Stu. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like they're trying to go that route a little bit. I'm okay with it because it's nostalgia. You know, the directors love the first film. And, the, you know, they want to take inspiration from that first film. I'm fine with that. That first film was a classic. That's a masterpiece of cinema to me. I love that first movie. The first movie was so good. I mean, opens up with Drew Barrymore getting fucking ripped up. Like, who would have thought? You know what I'm saying? Wes Craven, man. Oh, rest in peace, man. You did a fantastic job with Scream 1. But like I said... I'm still, still, still nervous about the story. I'm all about the story. Where can you adapt a new, fresh take on Scream, but also play the nostalgia of the first film or the second film or the third film, wherever, you know, wherever they take from, you know what I'm saying? Sort of like what David Gordon Green did with Halloween in 2018. You know what I mean? I feel like that was a legit, a, a, a love letter for, to the Halloween franchise. How he made that film so poetic. The, the, the filmmaking behind the process, you know, the mind of the film of him taking from, you know, certain Halloween films and, you know, really continuing what the, the after, what that first film did in 1978. And I loved it so much, man. I cannot wait for Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. God, I cannot wait. But post your comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about Nev Campbell officially coming back for Screen 5. And who do you think is going to be the killer? Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time today for watching C Real Productions. Peace. We out. We out. We out.